Sunshine and showers, that's the theme for many of us today. And worth bearing in mind, there will be some blustery winds, particularly towards the northwest. That's because the isobars quite tightly packed together due to this area of low pressure just to the northwest of the UK. Also notice that the front that brought yesterday's cloud and rain to many places is now clearing away from the southeast, taking that wet and damp and cloudy weather with it. Behind it, many places having some sunny spells, especially across England and Wales, lots of sunshine here, but there will be a few showers around. The showers more frequent across parts of Northern Ireland, but particularly Scotland, especially in the west. Here we're going to have some heavy showers banding together, so they could last for quite a while in some places, and we could see the totals building up. Could even be a few rumbles of thunder. Like I mentioned, some blustery winds, gusts of around 40, 45 miles per hour, perhaps even touching gale force in some exposed coastal parts of western Scotland and around northern parts of Northern Ireland. Here we're also going to have some pretty brisk winds. Temperatures are still going to be, well, around average for the time of year in the southeast, so highs of around 23, 24 Celsius, so feeling relatively warm in the sunshine, but further north and west it is markedly fresher and really feeling it with those stronger blustery winds and a greater chance of catching some showers. Through the end of the day, there will be a good deal of fine weather across many parts of England and Wales still, but still a couple of showers coming in on those brisk westerly winds. More showers across parts of Scotland, but these are gradually going to ease as we go overnight, so many places turning largely dry and there will be quite a bit of clear skies around. As a result, temperatures may drop a little bit lower than through some recent nights. Towns and cities, yes, generally holding up in double figures, but away from the built-up areas and where we get any prolonged clear skies are particularly towards the east and here the lighter winds as well means temperatures will drop mid to high single figures in some places. So what happens thereafter? Well, we do have a deep area of low pressure coming in, and that's actually due to the remnants of what was Hurricane Ernesto. And as we often see with these tropical features, they have a lot of energy, a lot of warmth, a lot of moisture mixed in. And as that system comes across us, it won't be a hurricane by the time it does so, but as that system comes in, it is going to bring a lot of wet and windy weather as we go through tomorrow. Towards eastern, southeastern parts, it's going to stay fine and sunny through large chunks of the day but turning a very cloudy and wet across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and into parts of Northwest England and Wales as well. That rain will be pretty heavy. We're going to see totals building up through Wednesday into Thursday. Some places, the higher ground, could see around 100 to 150 millimetres and so a little bit of flooding, some travel disruption and also watch out for those strong winds coming in with that wet weather as well. Coastal gales quite likely and some blustery weather even further inland too. Temperatures will be a little bit Bit on the lower side towards the southeast compared to today, 21, 22, maybe 23 in the best of any sunshine. But further north and west, I mean, we're looking at highs of around 15, 16 Celsius for many places, but it isn't going to feel particularly pleasant at all with the, the wet and windy weather that's pushing its way through. More wind and rain to come then across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland as we go through the end of the day on Wednesday and overnight into Thursday. A drier story to start Thursday towards the south southeast of the UK, but that front does eventually push its way through, bringing some wet weather to many places, but it is breaking up as it goes, so the rain won't be as intense, won't be as impactful as it will be across more north and western parts of the UK. Just a bit damp for many of us on Thursday. Thereafter, there is some more unsettled weather to come as we go through the end of the week. But what comes for this bank holiday weekend? Well, to find out more, why not watch our deep dive, which will be available exclusively on our YouTube channel later on this afternoon with Aidan. I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.